So it's 11 at uh, GMT plus four. So let's start our webinars today's session, which is installation mistakes are costlier than it seems. Our time split is like duration of webinar will be 45 minutes. There will be a question and answer session for 10 minutes. And last, we do have a poll and feedback session for five minutes. For better experience, kindly use only Google Chrome or Firefox. No Internet Explorer. Please do not do any parallel downloads for the time being. Questions will be answered at the end. A small detail about your page. If you want to make it a full screen, you can use this icon. At the same time, if you have any question, go to question and you can type your question. At the end of the session, we will give reply to all the questions in the uh, in the questions chat. And also, it will be an interactive session. So if there's anything in between being asked, you can reply on the chat. And the most important thing, the poll, because once we do the poll, we understand what are our negatives, we can improve our uh, webinars and also the presentation style, etc. So kindly do the poll. It is on the last and you will have a couple of questions. It's just about yes or no. And please make sure that poll is done at the end of the section. A very brief introduction about myself, Dinesh Ajay Kumar, senior field engineer, having an experience of one and a half years as assistant professor, and rest of my experience like four and four or around four years in fixing, specialized in design of chemical, mechanical, and nylon angles, design of installation system, training of angles, installation system, and fire stop. My education background is Masters of Engineering in Civil Engineering under Structural Engineer. And those are my some of my external certifications, which I have gone through my, in my career. And those are my awards and recognition. Moving to our services, as we show, we cover 360 degree. We do have innovative products. We do have design assistance and a software support. We do technical trainings and seminars. For sure, we have catalogs, handbook, and technical document related to our innovative product. We do the pullout test and quality assurances. And inside, we do training and demos for the site peoples. These are our product ranges. We cover almost all the product ranges in construction field, like chemical fixing, steel fixing, insulation fixing, general fixing, forms and sealants, fire stop, cavity fixing, frame fixing, ACT or Fisher facade system, and also Summontech, which is MEP installation system. Today's our agenda will be, why should you attend? Factors causing angle failures, type of angle failures, different case studies, and of course, why Fisher? So let's start with, why should you attend? This will be the common question arising in your mind. Why should you attend this webinar? As you know, we are all civil engineers and working in construction field. There are quite a vast uh, accidents happening. There is a history of fixing failures, some of which have caused injury and even death. The following images, you can see how important is fixing are. How important the fixing and you can see the different destructions happening in the site. We want to avoid this or this. It means any type of fixing failures to avoid this for sure. It will be a great section going ahead today. So let's start with the different failure modes witnessed in angles. This has been done quite back in our previous session, the detailed sessions for what are the different type of angle, the failure mode, etc. But as an introduction, I will just brief out what are the different failure mode witnessed in angle. First of all, it's a steel failure. When you steal steel failure, the angle or steel strength is less than the applied load. Now let's see an exact example over here. You can see due to the steel, how the angle would fail. The second angle pullout failure. Failure of working mechanism of anger due to high load or incorrect installation. Here again, you can see how it was not installed properly and the beam section is getting defected. Moving to the third concrete cone failure. When you have a tension force being too high, where the anger strength is being too low or the setting depth is being too low, where you don't have enough anger depth, then you can find this type of failure. For example, here you can see a concrete cone failure. 
which has been happened. Last but not the least, which is tilting failure, the member dimensions. It means when you have an angles closely spaced or when it, your angles are spaced to the edges, you can find failures happening similar to this. So let's look, what will be the main factors for angle failures? First of all, the angles which we are using in a wrong base material. Then the angles are not correctly installed. If the angles are incorrectly selected or not according to the applications. Angles used in wrong atmosphere conditions. Angles used without approvals. So these are most important factors where anger can cause a failure. Let's go to the case study. The first one, when we have a wrong base material. This happened in Austria where an eight-year-old boy was standing beside the blackboard, which is having a 200 kg. Unfortunately, the boy is not longer with us due to the failure. So how could this failure happen? You can see the angles installed here. This happened due to the angle was not fixed directly on the substrate. It was fixed on the bearing where the plaster, where, which is not a load bearing material. If it was properly installed on the substrate, this could have been avoided where they have used a wrong base material for the fixing. Now let's look to the second case study, which is wrong actions applied. You can see a very beautiful handrail over here. Unfortunately, again, you can see a failure happening over here. You can see how the failure has happened over here. When that load or action which was not recommended or not designed according to the handrail, when it was applied, you can see the failure happening over here. It has collapsed all the handrail over here due to minimum edge distance or due to minimum spacing. It can be a couple of reasons, but the load were not considered. Now, moving for wrong installation. When we say wrong installation, which most of them will be facing in the site, Let's take a real example of Juliet balcony failure. You can see a very beautiful balcony over here. You can see the installation it has been done. Let's look into more deeper. It was used by a plug for the installation, but this balustrade failed cause serious injury. How? When we take a more zoom in, you can see for a plug, they have made a hole which is not at all for a plug size. It is double the hole or it is not properly drilled. When the installation went wrong, this balcony just collapsed. And here is the image of the installation. Now, moving to the next type, when we have a wrong selection of angles. Now, common days in the Middle East, we are using super X blocks, or we say it as aerated blocks. So these are the aerated blocks. The property of this block is, is a very lightweight block. So in this block, Unfortunately, they have used a metal angle, which is like expansion angle. And when you use this angle, this doesn't work on this blocks because due to the light weight having on it. So what happened is the bolt were installed into aircrete blocks and it was not at all a suitable solution because after some time the block got uh, into a porous substance and the angle came out. The best solution for this is GB or we do have a FPX side angle. For the solution if you have anything fixing on suppress or aerated block it is not at all recommend to use a expansion angle of a steel now let's look into the next atmospheric condition when you have a wrong atmospheric condition you can see a beautiful scenery over here it's a image in bremen on 2011 so what happened is what happened over here the story is that when a car accident happened on the handrail We'll just go to the next slide and you can see the failure happened over there. When you go to the previous slide, you can see how beautifully they have installed and how beautifully it's withstanding. But when a car collapsed to the balustrade or the handrail, you saw the failure. But this was not witnessed without this accident. How? Because they were covering with a plastic angle in all angle board. So when you see a plastic angle, you think all is good inside. But for a meter distance and with caps on, the angle looks quite good, but under the cap, it's a different story. You cannot see even an angle properly over here. You can see it's already corroded over here, which means it is not taking any load. There are few more images which makes which gives you more detailed 
about the corrosion happening due to, to corrosion much of the angle diameter were reduced by 70 percent which means over here it's a only a head but no angle similarly the different images shows how corrosion has affected the handrail because they have used a zinc plated angle etc which was not suitable for the atmospheric condition the last section which is approval why do we say that approvals are very important again we have an application over here where it was a fire escape platform fixed with a non-approved angle which means it doesn't have any approved approval at this time what happens is and why when you use a non-approved product for safety cryptical option loads were too high for fixing used screws used have been too short so the lessons learned will be if you are not using a proper angle which is approved because it's a fire escape room and you need a, a fire approved angle for this because if fire is catching they need to escape from this place and if the angle is not approved for fire for sure it will not withstand and this application of this system will collapse altogether Now let's go to more and more cases. These are other examples which is happening in the site. You can see different types of failure. Over here you can see there is no concrete at all and still they have installed the angle. At the same time you can see a cracking observed at the edges because due to small edge or small spacing distance of our an angle. You can see again a crack has occurred over here due to the inappropriate, inappropriate installation or inappropriate selection of an angle. Now, let's see a bridge. It looks quite beautiful, right? When you're having this image, it looks quite beautiful and the scenery is all good. But let's go much deeper again. It looks all good. When you have a zoom section of an uh, angle fixing over here, you can see what happened. It's a failure happening in one side. Let's go more closer to the images. You can see the screen and also the embedment depth which they have used is not proper, which the crash is happening. Or the craft is going to happen you can see the smart workers who is using the angles just besides to the end where there is no edge distance minimum edge distance provided when you have smart people's working in your site condition they even don't want to drill and they will install directly to the wedges over here as an example which means which is a big failure or it is going to be a failure section on coming days Now let's get some comment from you people. Could you please mention what do you see in this image? Could you please see, explain what you are seeing in this image? Is it any type of failure or is it all good? What do you feel? You can reply on the chat box. What do you feel about this image? Repeating once again the session, uh, what would be the response from your side if you see an image like this? All concrete and new concrete from Mr. Prakash Nair is okay. Any other, please? Slab failed, which was installed on top of a steel bin. Exactly. Now let's look into the real case. You can see a concrete edge failure due to small edge distance. When we say this, let's have a closer view of the image. It's a support angle failure which happened and the failure is here. It was an angle fixed with the angles but was not having a space provided or the edge distance as per required. And this is the failure that opened, happened over there. Now, Again, let's see a real example in one of our Middle East site. You can see a light lamp hold over here. It looks quite aesthetic and it lo looks quite good. Let's look at zoom duration. Yeah, even though now also it's all good. But let's see next image. Oh my God, you can see a crack over here. You see a crack over here, right? And why could this crack occur? Why would have this crack 
occurred what do you think as civil engineers as construction engineers as pm when you see this crack what would be the reason again what could be the reason for the crack that has occurred over here you can come to chat and you can have your replies in the chat session edge distance okay again mr prakash nair has replied with edge distance yes it can it might be one one reason okay edge distance by ahmed al asad any other reason other than edge distance tension on bolt with small edge distance and i think drilling yes mr hamad al hadad it also can be a reason let's look what will be the reason you can see there is only 50 mm the most common thing edge distance where our engineers have already answered but why this happened because the angle they have used over here was m16 where the minimum edge distance was not 50 mm and it should be quite higher than this and this is why this failure has observed now few more images in site applications where further accidents had waiting to happen unfortunately you can see how crucial this fixing x it's at almost at the end or maybe i don't know whether their concrete is there you can see how the fixings has been happened over here oh my god again see the installation over here is like inclined and you see it's one side inclined here and it's one side inclined here apart from that the column itself is not resting on the concrete and it's away from the concrete which again causes failure again guys please read the application which you are seeing for this out of 5 how much you will give for this application this is a real site pictures because i have all i have only included the real site pictures which is happening throughout the world i have collected some of the images from my colleagues i have just uh, made it for you to understand what's happening in the site so in this what how much you will rate out of 5 for this application uh jahaz has supplied size base plate drill depth is less okay andre has rated 2 sachin soman has rated 3 pragash sachin soman has uh, reduced to a uh, 1 okay that's quite good again pragash na 2 more more guys come on more i need your feedback for the application how much you rate out of 5 how much you will rate for the application which has been done uh Apir Muhammad Ali is male zero. That's great again. Uh, Fakir Munir, Fakir Munir three. If I'm pronouncing your name, please forgive me. Shiva Shankar Rajendra is zero again. No consistent installation of bolt. That's perfect. So let's see. Even I do rate this for zero application. Why? You can see this is the original threaded rod. and this is the anchorage depth that should be inside the concrete you can see it has not been properly installed first thing second thing holes are provided over here but according to the site condition or according to their will <coughs> according to their willing they have made a hole parallel to that and they have installed which means maybe there is no calculation or maybe there is nothing to check the eccentricity etc so this installation is like zero it is like we cannot assure the installer unless there is a proper design done for the cases which they have done now moving to the main topic why fissure because we have gone through a great section like having discussing about different types of failure different types of cases case studies what happens when safety is not concerned when you don't have a flexible etc etc how come fissure help you in this the first main three things which we focus for the customer need is always the safety the speed the flexibility fisher will not give any recommendation without considering the safety 
we do consider a great safety for our customers and for our application which we are done so first of all when we say safety our products are et approved and are supervised by the plants we do have cold form angers and there's a head marking in angers the detail will go to the next slide we'll understand how it helps the second thing is the speed it means we have a pre-assembled angle and also a machine setting tool for the angles proposed the third thing is flexibility it is not one product or two product we have a large range of product according to the different substrate or different material so and so and also according to the coating and materials like last we discussed we have anything which has to be worked in corrosion we do have that coating of materials if it should be in indoor applications we do have that So let's start with Fisher mechanical anger. What is the most important thing in Fisher mechanical anger is that you can find a head imprint for identify the anger where installed. It means once you have installed, once your team has installed, if you want to make sure that the proposed anger is being installed, you can see a letter, and this letter shows the T fix. How much the T fix is? From the T fix, you can calculate also the angerage depth. And also the length and also the proposed angle, which angle we have proposed. And they have used the same angle. Now, the second most important thing is the detailed installation steps in the packing boxes. If you see in the official packing box, there will be a detailed installation steps saying what to drill, how to drill, with the base plate or without base plate, what will be the angle step. If you go more deep, you can see the length of the angle. For the proposed angle if the proposed angle is fa is a 12 by 30 you can find the effective length you can find the t fix you can see the reduced amendment depth also at the same time if you have any doubt in the approvals whether this is an approved for a fire rated angle you can see the approvals also over here it will be a fire rated approval it will be a icc approval eta approval all those approvals will be also mentioned here so this is why Fisher cares about the safety and the installation. Now, the second one, which is chemical anger. Mostly everyone on the site has used chemical anger. So what is the difference in Fisher chemical anger is you have a scale unit. Then you have a scale unit. You make sure that one unit is 2 ml. It means that you don't use excess of chemical and you can make sure that the guy who is using for the application has used the exact quantity. There will be no wastage and there will be no excess. At the same time, if you have noticed the image, it is a used cartridge. The used cartridge means once you open and if you have done your application, you can just close the cartridge and store in a cool temperature. I have added this image just to show in one of the sites they are using the application, which is a used cartridge. They have not thrown, they have kept it and this is having a three year shelf life. So it's a reusable cartridge. Again, again, you can use this cartridge and it comes in a plastic form. Again, the detailed installation steps will be here. How to install, at what depth, and what are the proper uh, drill uh, things which what we can install. And also we do have a hollow drill bit coming along with the cartridge. The best part of hollow drill bit is that Using a hollow drill bit, there's no convention cleaning of drilling holes necessary to fix angles properly, which is according to particular ET approved. It means if you are having a renovation of a hospital, over there you know there are many serious cases and you cannot make the dust flu. And you, have, you know that when you are using a chemical, you should make sure that you have done blowing, you have done brushing, you have done cleaning accurately. So to make sure this, you can use this hollow drill bit where you can reduce the where the uh, where the particles will not at all be there, where the dust will not at all be there. So you can use a hollow drill bit, which is more efficient for this application. So you don't need a other guy, one more guy to supervise or for cleaning or for brushing or any other things. Now moving to the most common angle, which is drop-in angle. For most of the MEP applications, we are using drop-in angle. You can see. Dropping angles looks like this. And once we are using a setting tool, which means the setting tool should be installed. You can see the installation method here. You drill, you fix the angle, you use your setting tool to make sure that your angle works. You can make sure there is a four imprint 
over here that is being marked to your anger in this wedges when you are hitting with a hammer as shown you make sure that the four imprint over here will be also located in your wedge which can make sure that your anger is properly installed this is that looks after before expansion and after expansion of concrete for a visual check Now again, coming to the various ranges, as I told, Fisher is having various ranges. We do have sink plated steel, we do have hot dip galvanized steel, we do have stainless steel, and also a very high corrosion resistant steel. Like for a particular applications, like if we have something which is in swimming pool, maybe in under tunnel, etc., we do have a high corrosion resistant steel, which is a 1.5 almost high corrosion resistant steel, and it has got all the approvals as shown over here. Fissure materials are all available according to all environment conditions. So you don't need to be worried according to your conditions. Like once you give the application, like which condition you want to use your anger, Fissure recommends this proposed anger will be suitable for your application. Over here, you can see again a box of Fissure, which is showing if there is a 10 by 20 R, which R means stainless steel or high cross resistance steel. So if it's a galvanized, this R will not be there. So this is how you can identify whether it's a Supreme product or not. Now, how are we trying to eliminate fixing failure? First of all, is that we provide specification advice to evaluate the angle suitability. It means that we provide the design calculation for our team members, for our colleagues, I mean, for our, sorry, for our customers. We make sure that the proposed angle is advisable for their application. We make sure that installation training is done in your site with zero installation errors that they are well sure that they can handle the site the third one is commonly site testing that we do site testing like pull out test rebutter etc to make sure that our anger the proposed anger takes the load as per recommended now what do you mean by follow me that's quite interesting. Let's see. It means we have covered all these cases in our webinar from the base material to the applied load to the installation type to the bearing mechanism angrage to the environment and to the approval. We covered all the case studies and we covered all the cases. So it means once you're selecting an angle or once you're selecting the application, make sure you are familiar with what base material you're going to use. Once you're sure with your base material, make sure what type of load is going to act in that type of angle that is con confirmed then go for the installation type what type of installation you're going to do is it a preposition is it a push through is it a standoff etc then you will be speaking about bearing mechanism anguish and then the environment mainly because in some cases it will be near to the seashores maybe it will be indoor maybe it will be outdoor for a long time so make sure what type of environment you are having where the fixing is going to happen and last but not the least, which is very important, which is an approval, because once the approved angles are used, it means this angles are approved for application. For example, if you have a seismic condition and you need to use the seismic angle, make sure that it is a seismic approved angle, which is third party approved, like ETA, ICC, etc. So if you follow all the steps, it means that you can make sure that installation mistakes can reduce to a zero rate and this is all about today's section i hope you have a good interactive section for this now let's move into the questions Okay, the first question is from Mr. Chandrasekhar. Do you design angles in seismic condition as well and submit report for conditions? Yes, we do. We do the seismic condition angle designing. We do it in our experience software. And yes, we do submit the report in similar format. We can do the seismic conditions angle designings.
again mr chandrashekar have asked if less chemical is injected than the required quantity by the installer how it be verified that's a good quite good question see as i told you in our cartridge if you can see you can see a scale unit in this scale unit one scale unit means 2 ml one scale unit means 2 ml and when we say 2 ml and if you give a installer to give this cartridge make sure that he has used because for an anchorage depth for the particular load we can calculate how much ml should be there in the chemical i mean in the hole once you calculate this you make sure that we have used according to the seal and if he has used according to the seal this is how he can confirm that yes they are following as per the design and as per the quantity required now shiva shankar rajendran has asked can we install stone cladding using mechanical fixes on a solid block wall ac block wall c can we install stone cladding using mechanical fixer on a solid block wall yes you can use mechanical fixers we do have the approved mechanical fixer angles but for aac also we do have the approved which is known as fpxi which is approved which is a approved steel angle at the same time we do have nylon angles also which is approved for both application even though if it's solid block even though it's aac block we do have xxr which is most commonly used for stone cladding purposes Mr. Peer Muhammad Ali Ismail has asked, "What is the grade of stainless steel anchor?" The grade of stainless steel anchor which we are using is duplex stainless steel anchor, which is also known as 316L, which is higher version than the stainless steel anchor. It is known as duplex stainless steel anchor. Mr. Hamad Al Hassan has asked, "I am working in KSA Riyadh. Please, can you let Fisher Technical Engineer call me? For sure, I will ask my team to get in touch with you in Riyadh uh, for the application which you are looking for. For sure, yes." Chandrasekhar has asked for less for the less chemical injected as site engineer do not expect and the holes. and do inspect after installation a series of fixing on that scenario how it be verified on later date similar to mechanical anchor uh sorry unfortunately once in this case if you want to do it afterwards it's recommend to do a pull out so that you can make sure that he has used proper anchoring anchoring chemical inside if it's matching the value yes otherwise no we cannot check in a chemical anchor how much he has used because this is what i'm saying at the time of training we will be providing them the knowledge of how the how the injection should be done at this time they can make sure that yes this is a scale and they make the usage of this chemical inside it yes mr fir yes the ss grade is 316l when you say stainless steel is 316 right this is 316l for the detailed uh, detailed thing i will share you the uh, data sheet what we have in that you can come to know what grade exactly the number it is we'll share the data sheet for you mr andreas asked can you be so kind to send me webinar presentation via yes we will be sharing the presentation like pdf once it is done yes we can do or we can come to your premises and we can do a webinar or one to one discussion if you require yes for sure we will share mr pierre the details for the uh, stainless uh, grade you have asked yes we do have the documents and we should share yes we'll do that for you uh guys don't forget to do the poll section please go to the polls and we need your valuable feedback to make sure that uh to make sure that the presentation was effective kindly go to the poll session as shown and kindly give the required votes for that please let us know that if you have any other queries for the session for the today's session it will be great to answer for you i hope you had a 
interactive session. I hope like now where we have to focus much to avoid the installation mistakes to save the life. Kindly go to the polls. Once again, a quick reminder, kindly go to the polls. Please make sure that you do your polls. Mr. Larry Finn has asked, please send the presentation to my May email ID. Yes, we'll yes, we will do that for you, ma'am. Please let me know if you have any queries regarding the installation or regarding the safety factors or something. Please let me know. Like how installation can be done, etc. Yes, Mr. Chandrasekhar. Yes, fast two has multiple embedment depth from 50 to 70. Yes, you're right. How can we install the right depth for say 65 mm as required by the design? Also request to kindly share the presentation to yes. So in this case, we know that fast two is having a reduced embedment depth and effective embedment depth. You can make sure that by knowing the prefix, how much it is, and you can confirm that they have used the 65 mm without the base plate and the upper part. By measuring it that they have gone through 65 mm now mr george john has asked is little chemical necessary to come out after installing chemical bolts or how to verify if we put enough required chemical yes mr john this was answered to mr chandrasekhar also the point is that before installation you should make sure that you have given a quite good training to your people who's doing in your site because unfortunately in mechanical, once it's installed, we cannot find because we don't have any letter marking in that. But you can make sure to your team people that they have used by using the cartridge because we do have a scale in it and you can make sure for a particular hole, they require that much ML of chemical to be installed. It's not that you will just fill the chemical. You can make sure that yes, they are following the scale unit. And if accordingly, you can see, okay, how many tubes they have used. Guys, once again, reminding you, kindly go to the poll section. Please do your poll. I hope in section was interactive and I hope if you have any doubt more, you could come to us. We'll be very happily replying to you. Once again, a quite quick reminder, kindly go to the poll and please do your polls. Mr. Kusami El Jala, thanks for your value prayer. Thank you, Mr. Kusami. Thanks for your attendance. Mr. Andri Rasiko, thank you for great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Andri. Nikhilesh Andri, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nikhilesh. I hope there is no more questions. And if you have any more questions, yes, you can you are free to get back to us. Yes, thank you. So once again, thank you to one and all who has attended the session. Thank, thanks for your time. Please give your valuable feedback on the polls and also to our team. Thank you. Thank you so much.